everybody, September 21st, 2012, the weekly wrap-up. I'd like to spend some time talking to you a little bit more about the technical aspects. Not too deep, we won't get too deep, but a little bit about the technical aspects of vocal cord vibration and what that has to do with how you sing and what that has to do with mix and what that has to do with falsetto because people still seem to have a little bit of a problem understanding the difference between what mix is and what falsetto is. There's lots of ways of demonstrating it and showing you, but I want to talk a little bit about vocal cord vibration and what's known as adduction. Now what adduction means is that the vocal cords are coming together. I always remember it by thinking it's adding. Abduction is coming apart, adduction, adding to, is coming together. And when the vocal cords oscillate, meaning vibrate, any word that means that, when they vibrate, and they're probably adducted with a sufficient amount of airflow, and that sufficient amount of airflow means that we've taken a good supportive breath and we've got good supported air behind us when it comes to singing, then the vocal fold adduction can be optimized for sound production. There's two borderlines to talk about, and that would be the over-adducted, which means pressed or too squeezed, and the under-adductive, meaning breathy. Now, either one of those are sort of the far ends of this. And if I was just to talk about, again, the uh, oscillation of that, if to take the vocal cords and go from very breathy sound, the spectrum of this, uh, I know, it sounds silly, but point being that too pressed or too breathy are the far extremes and they're the extremes that can even hurt your voice. What we want uh, is a nice generated tone with some good chord closure and response, the chords making a good seal, and we will get the best tone and that's sort of in the middle of those two places. Now I've spoken of that before and I'm going to get a little more technical because that's what we can speak of in relationship to horizontal adduction, but not vertical. See, when the air is coming up through the vocal cords, something else is happening. The air is, we can squeeze and not squeeze this way, but as the air is pushing up underneath the vocal cord, then what's happening is it's actually going through three layers. The vocal cords have three layers. And those layers are, first outside layer is the skin layer. The second layer, or the superficial layer, is kind of like jelly or jello. And just like jelly or jello, if you have jello on your plate, it wiggles around, but it also snaps right back to the same shape. That's kind of what this jelly is like inside of the vocal cord. And it's very important because it means that we can oscillate the cords and they can change in shape, but then pop right back elastically really, really quick. And then deeper into that, past that, what we have is a ligament. Ligaments like you can see in your turkey leg uh, when you're eating it uh, during Thanksgiving. Very, very much the same kind of ligament. Now these ligaments are really, really important because they're the what allows us to have the strength and put the power into the ability to sing up into high, high notes. Without those ligaments, we would not be able to sing. The human would not be able to sing as high as we are capable of doing. Now, the point of explaining these three layers in the vocal folds is that there's muscles and ligaments in it. And to be able to mix well, to be able to, be able to actually move from your chest voice up into your head voice flawlessly, that ability has to do with we needing to figure out how to bridge tension in the muscle with tension in the ligament as we're going up either in a glissando, on arpeggio, or any melody line that we might be singing. And the way it works is, is actually in the low notes you're more in your muscle and as you gradually expand up you're moving from the muscle more into the ligament, which again allows us the ability to get up into the higher notes. Those that can do that well sound like they have a seamless connection from the bottom to the top of the range. And the big question is if you know how to do this, and knowing how to do this is all about balancing the muscles that work above and below your vocal cords, the muscles in your vocal cords that are above and below them. 
the muscles above in the vocal cords, the muscles below. Okay, here's where it really gets technical. Let me explain. So in mixed voice, what happens is, as the air is pushing up underneath the vocal folds, the vocal folds are very much parallel, almost perfectly, and I have to say almost, not perfectly, but almost perfectly parallel to each other as they are making their seal and their connection. And because of that, the air pressure both above and below and the muscles both above and below balance out better and you get a better connection. And it's easier to flawlessly move up through your mix into your head voice. Now what happens with falsetto that's different than that is that the air works more and the muscles work more above in the above muscles but not as much in the muscles below. They're not adducting as well below as they are above. And when that happens, you get kind of stuck. And it's not as good of control because the muscles aren't parallelly balancing each other. I know it sounds pretty technical. And for a singer, what you really have to do is you have to learn how to sing through your mouth resonator, up through your nasal pharynx, because all of this is going to happen automatically if you actually understand how to regulate the air the right way, which will allow the vocal folds to be parallel and for the muscles to work the way that they're working. I'm giving you a technical explanation because lots of people here on the internet keep on talking about falsetto and talking about uh, mixed voice and what is the difference between head voice and falsetto. I am telling you right now specifically, specifically what the difference is. It is that the vocal folds come together but don't balance with the muscles underneath and the muscles below well in falsetto and in mix up into head voice they are balancing in a very coordinated parallel almost perfect parallel way when that happens you hear the flawless voice the seamless voice going from above and back down again now really guys there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes right now at Totally Vocals in relationship to new courses that are coming out and some new singers that I'm working with that uh, you're going to be seeing and I know uh, really have a lot of fun with and we're going to be doing some things with harmonies coming up that I'm really excited about. So um, hang in there. The wrap up this week I wanted to spend a little time giving you some very valuable information and letting everybody understand more about what the difference between falsetto, head voice, and mix, and how they're executed. All my people who are on the website, I would love to hear some comments about this information. Let's get on the forum and have some discussions. Uh, I've got a busy, busy weekend still to come through for you and what it is that I'm telling you that we're doing behind the scenes right now. So be expecting uh, be expecting a lot more in relationship to even different courses that are already there right now at Totally Vocals. And with that, I think that is a wrap. See you next time.